Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Railway Empire 2. In the last video, I started connecting up some more stuff in my network, getting Syracuse and Buffalo all set up. And I did read some of the comments that you left me in the previous video. Thank you everybody who left some comments, and I do want to take some of that stuff to heart. So I did see that adding maintenance depots in some spots, like this maintenance post, is probably going to cost me a crap load of money in the long run and also if i just have maintenance terminals in a lot of or maintenance depots excuse me in all of my cities i should keyword be okay with that i'm not really worried about maintenance up at like carter terminal and cook rest but i did i think that i built the warehouse in syracuse by chance i did build the warehouse perfect so i could just transfer all the goods from syracuse to albany or i could just have the train go to albany that's something that um, can be considered. So I do have the tracks over here. I could actually double up the tracks and kind of come down and meet up with my main line, which is getting very busy, um, for lack of a better term. Unfortunately, whoa, loud noise. Um, if I wanted to move my Sawyer terminal track over, it wouldn't actually take me much to do so and kind of triple up the main line heading out towards Buffalo. And I think that's where I'm going to actually start is actually building out this track coming up this way coming down to about here actually to about here and then kind of going in like this nope that is too far it looks like i can build that for some reason it just gets a little persnickety when i do that so let's build that um track direction yep we're going to leave that as omnidirectional whichever train wants to go that way can and I also got to need to upgrade my station grid iron. Actually, no. I'm going to leave that one as is. I do think the train that's currently on that track does need to get like transfer over. Just so we can do Sawyer Terminal back to Albany. I did also have a thought between videos just of... Having this, having the Cooper station... Bypassing the line and going straight over to Albany. It's, um... It's an ask. To get done mind you but i do like the idea of it and now we've got four tracks going this way let's kind of like show uh the direction on this one so we got two going outbound mm. that is not gonna be able to last long term now it goes to four here and to kind of two down here i may need to expand my main line uh between these two cities because i i gotta I, I with how the tasks are laying out this is telling me that Albany is going to need a lot more shit going forward. Um, and since I put the train station on the wrong side of the, uh, the map, I should have put it down here just so I can expand and go up north and get to Cook Rest. Wow, Ontario is now a lot more expensive to get my hands in, uh, to get into there. Because I do think that expanding into Ontario would be the way to go. Or even into Quebec. How much is Quebec? At 292, but there are businesses in Quebec. I see some grain up here, some cows, Montreal, of course, producing... Is that, who doesn't produce beer in this game, it feels like? And Albany. Let's take a look at what they need. Um, when they hit 40,000, they're going to need veg, which I have here. Fruit at 50,000. Salt at 70,000. I think I have salt somewhere. And then milk. What do you guys need milk at? Do you, do you need milk now? Okay. So the idea of actually bringing materials to Syracuse, warehousing them, and moving them over to Albany would work. Hmm. I do like the idea of actually like breaking this track line and then doubling it and going this way with it. But I will tell you right now, just the track utilization and making these tracks look decent, especially with the direction on them, is going to get really tricky really fast. Essentially, I'd have to do the doubling up right here on this one. So that's why I don't want to do it just yet. I'm going to let the game play for a little bit. Because we do have a train running back up there to Carter Terminal, Syracuse. What do you got in the warehouse right now? All right. Eight veg, eight milk. That will work for me. All right. Albany, we're at 40,000. That's good. And we need to get to 60,000 in Albany. Um, a library can be constructed via the city menu. Okay. Okay, can we instruct the citizens over 50,000? University. Ooh. A museum. Okay. 
Those don't help me too terribly much. Okay, that's what happened here. Because this track shares with Coal Stop, which is down here, they're not, um, that train had to wait. And this one is just loading up wool and lumber for New York City, which I hooked up toward the, uh, at some point in the last video, I can't remember when. And did it again, too. Because if I want to really invade the southern states, like head down, get, try to get down towards like Philly and DC, or even over to Pittsburgh, I probably need to actually move this station and almost set it up north-south like, uh, what's this guy's name? What is this guy's name? Because I can't remember who actually... Who's the competitor here? Barty Shiloh. And I don't, apparently I can't buy shares of him yet. It says, not currently not possible. It's just tell me it's going to be possible at some point. Hmm. If I'm getting a good amount of money, I may actually just like redeem that just to pay it off super fast. But I want to make sure I've got plenty of... What are you waiting on? Oh, you're just going super slow because of the rate of the track, maybe? Or are you just fully loaded? You're John Bull. So that works for me. What do I got in the research tab here? Um, I got deep pockets available to me. If I wait a little bit, I can get tenders and then creative accounting. I do want, hopefully want to make sure I've got enough for the Dunham come 1837. I've got a feeling that 1837 is going to come in this playthrough. Albany has grown. Hooray, we're at 40,000 people. And I can build a second industry here. The question is, what to build? Um, we could do a meat industry. We already have beer. Weaving mills, fashion, sawmills, distilleries, dairy, furniture, and ceramics. Wow. Um, the ceramics would actually work, because I've got the clay there, but ceramics aren't really needed here until 90,000 people. The, uh, Milk and veg are now going to be needed. Thankfully, Cook, Rest, and Carter Terminal already hooked up for that part of it. And let's take a look at my train lines here. Uh, Buffalo to Syracuse is actually taking on a crap load of milk. This is just a bunch of milk heading up that way. Uh, small breakdown on this guy. Hopefully, when he gets to this uh, supply tower, he can get patched up. With that, let's head back over to Boston. Uh, we have a lumber industry, which is good. We'll need that eventually. Thinking about buying some industries here. Jackson Station of Portland, Maine. Let's go ahead and edit you. And here. I want a minimum of four. And we will wait. And confirm that. That's okay. Because he's the only train on that line. We should, keyword, be okay with that. Let's take a look at the rail lines themselves. Albany to Boston. They got two of these guys going. Um, yeah, it's just Albany to Boston. Just running with the big stuff. Um, I kind of maybe want to just... Buy, I'm thinking about maybe trying to bypass Kelly Station. I'm not going to get through these mountains. I'm looking at the terrain here. The only other way to get is to go up and around, which I don't think I need to just yet. I mean, I probably will eventually. There's Cook Rest, and there's Canadia. I'm trying to see if I want to try to like hook up Albany. Like maybe come this way. Hook in like a T intersection with Cook Rest. Hey, that's not a bad idea. And then come up this way. Go kind of like along this private property. And then up towards like Montreal and or Ottawa. You got Toronto down here. Ton of stuff down here in Toronto. You got uh, you got a farmstead. You got that there. We got grain. We got grain. Trying to make sure I've got uh, everything I need to have hooked in, hooked in. Also, this Buffalo to Syracuse run is making bank for me. And this is the one that just goes between the three cities. In fact, in Syracuse, going back to Buffalo, I'm going to set that up just so the milk, the veg, and the clay, I probably don't even need clay right now, are only delivered to Albany. Everything else is just going to be... Uh, did that again. Syracuse. Cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. Get that, confirm. There we go. I'm starting to remember these things when it comes to that stuff. Um, I did see an up arrow. I have a breakdown here. Do I have a maintenance depot in New York? 
No, I don't. Whoops. What is this? A warehouse post office. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a maintenance facility built here, because that's going to be an issue for me as well. Right. Coal stop to Albany. Hmm. We do have a maintenance depot here, too. Hopefully these will get repaired on their own. I mean... Oh, and he's coming the other direction, too. This is going to be a problem for that train coming back the other direction. Hopefully this is not going to be too much of an issue. Because I don't... Hopefully these will get maintenance on their own. Small breakdown. Hopefully they're being maintenance. I really do. Um, the maintenance sheds, the ones that I built in the first couple of videos, I know there were some folks who commented, and I, I don't have the app, unfortunately, in front of me because I've got my daughter... Uh, on the monitor sleeping at the moment. Thankfully, she's asleep. Um, keep an eye on her, but note, I've got a lot of breakdowns right now, and this is um, this is an issue. What if I need to maybe temporarily slap down a maintenance depot in this area? That way, it would kind of keep things from going to kerfuffle So if I go, like, here... I'm going to put it there for now. Um... Hopefully, I know this is very costly, you know, over a four week span, but if I can get these two trains back up and running, then I can go ahead and hopefully, and there he goes. Now he's starting to work on his own. Um, hopefully this guy will start working again and I can get him running back. When they both get back to New York or Albany, um, depending, we can hopefully get them uh, maintenanced up and back up to normal. So it says maintenance depot is here. I want to make that 70%. Uh, I want to try to keep these guys up and running the best I can. Because this is actually, not going to lie, it's a little frustrating. This one's also, this one broke down again. God. Um, did that one seriously just get out of the distant, the radius of it and then immediately break down again? I think it did. Nope, he's there. Oh, no. Just gonna, just gonna keep it at low on that one, because it's cost me quite a bit per week to do that. Making a bit of cash right now, which I'm, you know, enjoying that. Uh, 260... Yeah, I want to get to 300, so one more month on that, please. And we will speed up the game a little bit. Bringing in some cash, that's good. I do like the idea of doing the concession, and then I'll probably hook up Buffalo across the river into London and then Toronto. Probably do two lines up to Toronto and then one straight over here to London. Let's see what else is out this way. I think in this, this would be like Detroit kind of in this area because you got the thumb of Michigan. This would be like Windsor, Canada. That's I'm not sure what geographical feature that is, to be perfectly honest. But Back to what I was talking about. Buffalo, cross the river, swing up into uh, to Toronto. We got Howard Farm there. Got more farms up this way. And there's also Ottawa. So, I mean, I could do a big old circle route. That would just be Buffalo connecting into these two and then warehousing the hell out of both cities because Ottawa would be able to connect to this, this, and this. And I'd probably have Toronto hooking up to the beef, the farm, and the... Uh, the wheat, and then London would probably hook up to that. Because London does have a cloth industry, so I'd probably run a line up that way for it. And Smith Quarry just produces salt. Um, I don't think anybody needs salt right now, because I don't think anybody has any of that stuff right now. So, I think that's going to be where we go. I think it's time to start expanding into Canada, our neighbor to the north. Albany, though, 67%, and we've got a ways to go. We've got 60,000 folks in Albany. That's why I'm thinking, let the game go for a bit, and then start hooking up this part of the network. Is this going to be expensive? That's like asking if the Pope is Catholic. Paying a ton of money, we now have access to Canada. Now, I think London's going to be the first hookup. I just got a, uh, another achievement. They're not popping up on my screen right now, which is kind of frustrating, because I like seeing those things pop up. Right, and we're going to shift it and do it kind of like this. Actually, wait. 
What's the terrain? Ooh. Terrain's pretty good out here. So if I do, like, here... You do like that. We'll do a train line. This will also hook in uh, Smith Quarry, but I'm not going to hook it in on this line. I'm going to hook it in on the line that, that spurs out towards Toronto because I can do something like this. Hook that in and then run up to Toronto with the next one. So I just want to go Buffalo down to London right now. There we go. I'm trying to make this a little bit of a smoother run out. Yeah, this is going to be a really expensive proposition to hook into um, London like this. So I'm going to let the game go. And then when I have the... Well, let's be honest, I'm going to wait until I have a little bit of cash before I do this. It's a lot of money, mind you. Um, tracks are pretty expensive. The bridge. This bridge is the expensive part. But if I wait just a minute... Remember what I mentioned a few minutes ago? I have access to some research. And if I let this go just a couple more minutes, maybe a few seconds, get me into June, I can get tenders. Reduce the construction cost of all buildings, including factory and railway, railway buildings, by 5%. I'm wondering if this will actually impact bridges. Probably doesn't, but I'm going to guess that it does. Oh no, I can actually get the Dunham now. Hello, Moto. That's actually pretty good. Increased speed, tractive power, maintenance requirements are a little bit higher. Ooh. I'm actually thinking about going for the Dunham before I go for anything else. So I can get the Dunham, then I can kind of go for like mail cars. I'm doing the Dunham. That that's the that's the route to go here. Now if I go to my engine shed, I got my grasshopper, I got my John Bull, here's the Dunham. Movable bogey, 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 for the two guide axes of the Dunham represents a fundamental innovation in the construction of locomotives. My head's in the way of this little thing on the bottom right. It enables better cornering at higher speeds with tracks, but are often built with little precision. Here's the Derwent, not unlocked. And then we have the Firefly. That's kind of cool. But the fact that I have the Dunham historically six years ahead of time, that's pretty impressive. Not going to uh, swap those out just yet, except maybe on my express lines. Okay, so this one, we are going to go ahead and edit the rail line, edit my engine, and put the Dunham in its place. It's going to cost me a little bit more. So now I have a faster train on the Portland to Bangor route, and then I need to get my Buffalo to Syracuse to run both trains. Edit it on that one. Uh... Austin to Portland. That's all that one's doing. I'm actually okay leaving that as a John Bull. And then my Albany to Boston run. That one absolutely needs to be upgraded too to the Dunham. Easy peasy. Alright. Um. Our to Syracuse. You need to be waiting on stuff, please. Now I have enough money to connect Buffalo and London. But again, there is um, this little connection of the Seward Farmstead that I do want to hook into Toronto as well. I'm also realizing I have done several derpages on this. How am I supposed to connect to Toronto with this line if it's already hooking into Ontario or into London? So I actually cannot use tracks 1 and 2 to go to London. I actually need to do tracks 3 and 4 to London. I'm going to build a straight track along there. It's actually going to get pretty close to this guy, which is kind of a problem, actually. If I can parallel it, I'm in good shape. I'll do that, and then I'll parallel the track this way. And I don't have enough money to do that just yet, but, again, we're going to hit, hook into the plan here. This one, again, will not hook into this line. It'll hook into this line. Go ahead and speed up the game a little bit. Get that going. No, wait. Shit, it needs to be on platform. Did I seriously derp that? I think I derped it hard. Yeah, I did. I derped it hard. I'm going to build like that. And then I'm going to parallel track it. 
going all the way down to Buffalo. I think everybody's, everybody on board with this one I, so far? Huh. Weird that it's making me do the entire run again. I think it's because I did that little uh, deletion the way I did. Okay. Odd that it made me do it like that, but I will uh, gladly take it. Because again, I want to make sure 3 and 4 are Buffalo to London, 1 and 2 are Buffalo to Toronto. Let the game go for a little bit. And then once we get that money for it, we'll buy the line, and there we go. Got both my station gridirons down. Now I kind of need to do a, a brief idea of where I want to hook up Toronto. My plan, of course, is to... I'm not even going to bid on that. I don't have the money for it. I want to take, obviously, the tracks kind of along this and then swing it off this way toward Toronto. So I'm thinking my supply tower is going to go right in about here. No, I just got 307,000. What the hell? Did I just get money? All right, we're going to London, Ontario, and we're going to use my new friend, the Dunham. All right, let's take a look at the Dunham line. I'm actually going to do a ride along with this one because I'm close to the 30 minute mark. And with my videos, I try keyword to keep these around 30 minutes. Um, the Railway Empire videos as of late have been pushing the 40, 50 minute mark. Um, I'll probably, you know, I'm keeping an eye on the money right here. If this goes really well, then I'll go ahead and do another, uh, hey, wow, they're twins. Here we go. Oh. All right, coming up to the intersection now. That's the cloth industry I'm most likely going to be buying in the next video to make sure that I've got enough money. There we go. No, turn off my quarterly report. I'm busy right now. I might take out another bond here shortly just to make sure I've got plenty of cash rolling in. This line being constructed was extremely expensive. I'm going to fully acknowledge that. But as I hope that this will eventually pay off in the long run. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to count the number of stars on the flag here. We got some earthworks going on. I want to actually wait till we get across the river, which I don't think is going to happen very soon. actually get out of this because that train is probably yeah we're pretty close to the river you know check in on albany because albany's albany's the big city we got to focus on wow 72 percent of fulfillment on that one that's very very good right now and of course hooking in toronto will be the next big task so it's gonna be toronto and then on to ottawa build up a big old network I cannot hit Quebec just yet because it's going to cost me a little bit of cash for it, but I can hook into Ottawa and have it really set up to run straight into Montreal once I've got that completed. First train is arriving from London into Buffalo. Let's see how much money we brought in from this. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of mail cars here. That's good. And of course, we do have a maintenance depot, so it's going to make sure this train stays operational for a very, very long time. See how much money we got. Oh, let's also speed it up a little bit and make sure it goes a little bit faster. Hey, 25,000. Going for that way. We've got a little bit of beer loading up. That's good. And we have quite a bit of beer actually available to me. So I will make use of that. The Smith Quarry. Let's actually do this before I uh, wrap up the video. So I will do Smith Quarry kind of about... Oh, yeah. That'll work. Kind of like that, maybe? Smith of Rest, excuse me. Alright. From there... I'm going to do a parallel line. Let's set up the line before I wrap up here. 
that line will continue on to Toronto. Don't have the cash to slap it down right now, but this train is uh, ripping pretty good right now. Wow, a lot of beer heading over to London. And the demand for beer, I'm going to guess, is pretty high here. Yeah, they have a demand of... Let's see. Current delivery by train, demand per week 0 0.4. So I think I'm going to get a decent amount of beer coming in right now. Near the weaving mills, of course, if I can supply it with wool from the Seward Farm, Seward Farmstead, I'll be able to make the cash coming in going on this one. Let's see how much we bring in here. I said I was going to put a cut in the video, but obviously that is not happening right now. Once I start getting multiple trains going through here, I will absolutely start utilizing um, what should bring in? 17,000. Not bad. I'll start utilizing uh, maintenance depots on this one too, because we already have a maintenance depot in Buffalo. And let's see, yeah, we got enough for Toronto now, so let's go ahead and set that up. Also make sure we have our industries uh, located in the right spots. Okay, so cows are over that way. Wheat, wheat, yep. It looks like tracks... Yeah, Ottawa will take care of that, so... Right, building construction. Hmm... We're going to set it up kind of like that, maybe? Yeah, kind of like that, I think. There we go. No, this line will go to... Actually... Man, it's still... It's just 92,000 every, every time I build one of these things. All right. parallel it. It's going to cost me another 93. Let's get the cash flowing, and then I will... What the heck is that? Oh, it's a road bridge. Weird. An expensive-ass road bridge. You could have just gone around the lake. Literally, it's cheaper. Okay. Let's do... 2 and 5... Very weird. I selected the second track, the one I had, and I just decided, nope, I don't want that one. And this one is, haha, -ha, only 93,000. So it looks like if I just... Hmm. Odd, I thought it would actually let me do that. The track planning, uh, I'm not going to lie, it still confuses me somewhat. Let's go ahead and get these two set up and I'll wrap up the video here. Yeah, because this is going to follow along the exact same path that I'm doing. I'm going to have a four lane or four rail crossing over Lake Erie. Yeah, it's the Erie Canal. So it's Lake Erie they're talking here. See, research, nothing available for me. I did lose out on getting tenders, which is fine, because I've got the Dunham. Okay, a little bit short on that. So let's actually go into the company. I'm actually going to pull a bond here. Oh, I'm going to get the cash for it right there. There you go. I'm gonna build that one out. And build that one now. You know, Toronto, I'm gonna grab the maintenance depot right now because I'm gonna no one to need it. Now let's do a new rail line. Toronto to Buffalo. Hold up. Not yet. Every time I've done this. And we're going to actually set this to be just two tracks. You got a two track grid iron here. At both ends of the station here. These are also free to build, so might as well slap them in where, where, where I can. 
and here for Toronto. There we go. Uh, let's see, track direction. Got that there, cool beans. So both going out that way, coming in that way. I like it. Didn't even set it up for these guys, mind you. Can easily do that when I decide to do so. There we go. Alright, now let's start that train line. Toronto, Buffalo. Um, yeah, we're going to put the Dunham on it. 25 mile an hour speed limit. Cost 26000 to do so. Cool beans! I now have hooked up Toronto and London to Buffalo with a little bit of help from a bond measure. Obviously, I'm going to be wanting to pay those off as soon as time allows. We're at 51,000 people in Albany. This is, I'm not going to lie, this actually takes quite a bit to get done. Um, there's a liquor industry here now. Constructed in 1831, sugar and fruit producing liquor. But the city, if I'm not recall correctly, yeah, only needs it at 60,000 people. Now, however, I believe the city can have a library now. So it can be construction and in, in building in cities with over 50,000 cities to increase happiness. Increases fulfillment demand by 10%, costs $100,000 reduce. So if I put the library kind of like back up here, or even down here, it'll be a lot harder for me to have a interference with it because of the building's location. So that, hopefully, is going to help improve things quite a bit. All right, we're at a good spot. We've got some extra cities hooked up. Uh, note that I have not had a chance to... Oh, there's a connection bonus for this guy. Oh, game, why do you do this to me? You just keep dragging me in and you make things just enjoyable. Okay, so I'm going to hook it up like this. And then Toronto will, can be benefit from the rice breeding. So we'll utilize that at some point, but not right now, obviously. Hmm. Ooh. What if I hooked up Toronto to London? I'm actually going to do this and leave three and four open with the plan of connecting to Toronto? Not right now. I'll actually do that when I decide to do so because that's extra $100,000 just to build the two platforms that I'm not gonna be using anytime soon. Okay, so we got that. You were gonna need a maintenance shed. Running through my monies. Nope, wrong thing. Train line. Uh, we're gonna go sewage stop to London. We're going to do a John Bull for this one. I don't think I need to spend a ton of cash on that. And now we'll start supplying cloth over to here. And then when I do want to try to build uh, to purchase it, it's going to cost me about $400,000. And I just want to make sure, of course, that I've got everything done. $201,000 coming my way from setting up Seward Stop, mind you, which will be beneficial. Buffalo, how you doing? 58.3. So you're not growing, you're not shrinking. That's okay. Syracuse, how you doing? 57%. You're doing okay. Boston, 62%. Doing okay. Not great. Not terrible. Albany, though, at 53000 and continuing to grow. There's a $200,000 connection bonus I was just talking about. And if there's any other connection bonuses that pop up, I'm going to try, keyword, to get those done because some flat cash, very helpful for me. There's Ottawa off in the distance. One day I will connect to Ottawa from Toronto. But for now, I'm going to put a cut in here. It's also an Indian village right in the middle of the, where my track would most likely go, so I would rather not uh, have to pay that tariff to go through their territory at this time. Albany, still on the grow as we continue our way through Chapter 1. I was hoping I'd get through this objective, this video. Doesn't look that, like, doesn't look like that will be the case, but I'm planning to continue to grow this city because it does seem like the Boston and Albany rail line is going to be a focus point in this series, and especially for this chapter. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.